class so in this session we are going to learn how to derivate the logarithm function all right uh, before that in the last couple of classes we had discussed about exponential function right uh, that how we derivate the e function and how we draw the sketching of exponential function right that is what we had discussed in the last couple of classes uh, unlike we uh, know that uh, that squaring and root r opposite to one another right similarly positive and negative are opposite to each other similarly exponential and logs are opposite to each other so they cancel the effect of each other as you had learned in the topic uh, i think that it's log we had discussed about it in the log as well but if you don't remember no need to worry about exponentials and logs are reversal function of each other so how we are going to derivate the log functions now we are going to discuss this uh, there are two working uh, formulas that are pasted on the screen and it is from your book i have uh, taken the screenshot so there is no need to remember that working formula keep in mind that when we are uh, differentiating the exponential function i never ask you to learn the working formula although i had discussed the shortcut that how you are going to derivate the exponential function right similarly if i say that e 5x you need to derivate how you are going to do that the derivative of exponential is the exponential and then we need to derivate the power that's how you are going to derivate the exponential function right so we did not learn any working formula in exponential similarly we don't need these working formulas how we are going to derivate the log uh, log function let's suppose that you have ln of 2x plus 3 right that is your function is equals to y and we need to derivate the function so how we are going to do that so i'm saying that dy over dx now listen carefully to derivate the log function the first step is whatever written in the bracket you need to write it as 1 divided by that whole thing 2x plus 3 right whatever written inside the bracket you need to write this expression as 1 upon and that expression and then you need to derivate that expression here so the derivative of 2x plus 3 it will be only 2 So the derivative of ln 2x plus 3 it's 2 divided by 2x plus 3 that is your derivative of log functions. All right. So there are two steps. Number one, whatever written inside the bracket you need to write in the denominator, and whatever you write in the denominator you need to derivate. So that is a complete differentiation of log functions. All right. Now here I have taken an example from the book. differentiate the following with respect to x in the first part we have ln of 3x plus 2 right so in order to derivate that part what i have told you whatever is inside the bracket you need to write it as 1 divided by 3x plus 2 and once you had written in the denominator you need to derivate that part So the derivative of 3x plus 2 is 3. So the final answer we have is 3 divided by 3x plus 2. That is your final answer. All right. So first we need to write down the example in your solution in your sorry copy. And for that part you have a time of 30 seconds. I think it's quite enough. So start doing example A. Start. all right after that we need to start example b and you need to attempt it yourself so it's ln of 7 minus 2x with the power q all right so first you need to give it a try by yourself you have a time of uh, 60 seconds and then i will tell you the answer so start all right so before derivate that function we know that the power of uh, Uh, that is a property of ln that it can extract the power 
as the coefficient right so I can write it in this form 3 ln 7 minus 2x I didn't start differentiation up till now right first I arrange the equation now the equation is arranged now I will start the differentiation the derivative of ln 7 minus 2x is whatever written you need to write it in this form 1 upon and you need to derivate that function so it's minus 2 it's differentiation so the answer we got is minus 2 3 are 6 divided by 7 minus 2x that is your final answer of part b all right so i hope that it is clear to you and uh, we are going to attempt the last part as well so the last part is ln of x square plus 1 so it will be 1 divided by x square plus 1 right and the denominator is x square plus 1 so its derivative will be 2x so you can write in this form 2x divided by x square plus 1 that is your part c answer all right so i hope that it is clear to you uh, moving on towards the next book question it's question number five it has several parts we are going to attempt some of the basic parts right so starting with the first part it says that derivate the function ln of 5x plus 1 right now the basic principle we know that in order to derivate the ln function what we need to do first whatever written inside the bracket you need to write it in the denominator right and once you had written in the denominator you need to derivate that function so the differentiation of 5x plus 1 it will be 5 and your final answer it will be 5 divided by 5x plus 1 so that is your final answer for the first part all right i hope that all of you are clear regarding the differentiation of ln functions uh, let me give, give you one more example of part b it says that ln of 4x minus 3 to the whole power 2 so at first we need to apply the property of log that is we can write in this form 2 ln of 4x minus 3 keep in mind that i did not differentiate the function i just apply the property of log which says that log can extract the power as a coefficient right you can see that the power has now become the coefficient right and now we can start with the differentiation process so if let's suppose that it is equals to y so now i can say that y or dy by dx is equals to 2x as a coefficient so it's 2 d by dx of ln of 4x minus 3 right so the differentiation is very simple whatever written inside the bracket we need to write it in the denominator so it's 4x minus 3 and the differentiation of 4x minus 3 will be the numerator part so it's 4 right if you multiply it leads to 8 divided by 4x minus 3 and that is your part b answer so keep in mind that how we derivate the exponential function or the log function we did not learn any single working formula all we are practicing is the basic techniques or strategies to derivate the exponential function or the log function after that after part a and part b let's start with part b and it says that x ln 5 minus 2x all right so we need to apply u into v here because you can see that there are two functions that are multiplying the first function we have it's x and the next function we have it's ln of 5 minus 2x right so if i say that u is equals to x so v is equals to ln of 5 minus 2x so why don't you give it a try by yourself first and for that part i'm giving you the time of 90 seconds give it a try and then i will explain so start all right so u dash is equals to 1 and v dash is equals to in the denominator it will be 5 minus 2x and the derivative of 5 minus 2x is minus 2 the working formula we have is u derivative of v plus v derivative of u so what is u u is x what is derivative of v it's minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2x 
plus what is v? v is ln of 5 minus 2x and what is derivative of u? It's 1. Now we need to simplify it a little bit in if I multiply the bracket so it will be minus 2x divided by 5 minus 2x plus ln of 5 minus 2x right we can simplify it a bit if I take negative sign common from the denominator so it will be 2x minus 5 in the numerator it's minus 2x plus ln of 5 minus 2x so minus minus cancel the final answer is 2x divided by 2x minus 5 plus ln of 5 minus 2x that is your final answer all right i hope that you are clear regarding the differentiation of log functions and you have a clear idea where to apply u into v after part d we are going to start from part e and part e it says ln of x plus 1 and x minus 3 all right so we need to derivate that function and before differentiation let me just multiply these two brackets here so it will be ln of x square minus 3x plus x minus 3 and if I simplify it, so it will be x square minus 2x minus 3. Alright, so why don't you give it a try by yourself first and see what your answer is. So you have a time of 60 seconds to give it a try start. Alright, so now the differentiation it will be whatever written inside the bracket. It will be x square minus 2x minus 3. And the differentiation of x square it's 2x. The differentiation of 2x it's minus 2 and the differentiation of minus 3 it's 0 so that is your answer after that part e we are going to start with part f where we have a trigonometric identities as well part f so it's ln of sine x plus cos x so you need to derivate it first give it a try by yourself and then i will explain so you have a time of uh, for 100 seconds let's say you have a time so start all right so the differentiation of ln of sin x plus cos x the first step is you need to write the function in the denominator so it will be sin x plus cos x right and now we need to derivate these two functions so the derivative of sin x it's cos x and the derivative of cos x it's minus sin x and that is your answer i hope that all of you are getting the same answer and you did not forget the differentiation of trigonometric functions which we have studied in the last uh, i think last week classes right so make sure to remember all the things because when we are going to start the past papers all the things are coming up right in different parts let's suppose in the first part it's a basic question of differentiation in part b it's u upon v in part uh, c is chain rule in part d differentiation of trigonometric function so all the uh, subtopics that we are uh, you know learning separately they all are jumbled up in your paper so make sure to remember each and everything of all the subtopics right so you can um, attempt all the questions smoothly all right, so moving on to the next one after part f let's pick the question part i all right it says that ln of under root x square plus one minus x so give it a try by yourself and for that part you have a time of 100 seconds and then i will explain so start all right so that is part i i've written here and before starting this question what i will do uh, i will derivate this function x square plus one with the root separately all right let's suppose this is a function and if we derivate this function so how to derivate the function it's very simple it's very simple that first we need to write down the power that is one upon two subtract one from the power so it's x square plus one one upon two minus one is minus one upon two and then we need to derivate the function that is x square so the derivative of x square is 2x right so 2 and 2 cancel so the differentiation of uh, the differentiation of dy dx of x square plus 1 with the root sign of power 1 upon 2 is x and this negative 1 upon 2 if I shift it in the denominator so that will change its sign into positive 
and that is the differentiation of x square plus 1 with the root sign. Now, coming back to your question, it says ln of under root x square plus 1 minus x, right? The differentiation of ln we know that whatever written we need to write down in the denominator. So that will be x square plus 1 minus x and we need to derivate that function now. Now the derivative of this function we had find out and that is equal to this one, right? So the derivative of this function is x divided by x square plus 1 with the power 1 upon 2 and the derivative of minus x it's minus 1. All right. After that, I can start uh, what I can do. It's 1 divided by under root x square plus 1 minus x, right? And inside this bracket, I'm going to take LCM. So it will be LCM is x square plus 1 with the power 1 upon 2, right? It will be x minus 1 multiply with x square plus 1 with the whole power 1 upon 2, all right? Again, if I observe that, so these two brackets are quite similar, but the fact there there is only change in sign. So what I will do, I will take negative sign common from here. So now it will be x minus under root x square plus 1, right? And here I have x minus under root x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 with the power 1 upon 2 these two brackets can be cancelled the final answer it will be minus 1 divided by x square plus 1 with the power 1 upon 2 or you can apply under root sign so that is your final answer all right so after this one moving on to the next one it's question number seven also uh, which part we did not do here uh, let me check it first. Wait a minute. Um, yes, you need to attempt 5 part H as your homework. So that is your homework question. All right. Add an X upon H. You need to apply Q upon V here expectedly. All right. So after this question, moving on to the next one, it's question number 7. It says that show that the curve Y is equals to ln 2X minus 1 x should be greater than 1 upon 2 has no stationary point all right what do you mean by stationary point it says that dy by dx equals to 0 that is the condition of a stationary point right if it says has no stationary point that means dy by dx should not be equals to 0 so what you need to do you need to derivate the function all right first find dy by dx equate it to 0 and then see your solution so you have a time of 100 seconds for this question and then I will start so begin. Alright, so let me find the differentiation of this part first. It says that y is equals to ln of 2x minus 1, right? The differentiation of this one, it will be 1 divided by 2x minus 1 and then it will be 2. That is your dy by dx. If you equate your dy by dx to 0, so what you will get? It will be 0 is equals to 2 divided by 2x minus 1, right? It will be 0 multiplied with 2x minus 1 will be uh, 0. So at the last you are getting 0 equals to 2. That is not possible, all right? So that is why the question says that the curve has no stationary point and that is the proof of this question. All right, it's question number 11. Given that y is equals to ln x square minus 4 for x is greater than 2, Find dy over dx, all right? So first, you need to derivate the function. Uh, we have y is equals to ln of x square minus 4. You need to derivate the function and find out dy by dx. And for that part, you have a time of 40 seconds. So start. So when you def uh, differentiate it, it will be dy over dx is equals to 1 divided by x square minus 4 and the derivative of x square will be 2x so i can say that it is equals to 2x divided by x square minus 4 that is my dy by dx after that it says hence find in terms of p the approximately change in y when x increases from 3 to 3 plus p all right so such type of questions we have studied in small changes right 
<coughs> x changes from 3 to 3 plus p so that means the initial value of x is 3 so what i need to do i need to find out dy by dx at x is equals to 3 so that is equals to 2 instead of x i need to write 3 here instead of x i need to place its value so it's 3 divided by 3 square minus 4 so now it will be 2 3 are 6 3 square is 9 minus 4 so it leads to 6 divided by 5 that is my dy by dx right we need to find out, uh, find out a small change so the working formula we have it's change in y divided by change in x is equals to dy over dx right so change in x we have as it says that 3 to 3 plus p so the change is p only right so now it will be dy delta y is equals to dy over dx at 6 over 5 and when you shift delta x on the right side it will be multiply and the value is p so you can say that it's 6 over 5 p so moving on towards the next question that uh, will be the last question of today class and the last question of this exercise as well it's question number 13 uh, the question says two variables x and y are related by the equation y is equals to ln of 2 plus e to the power minus x or x is greater than 0 it means that if in this question we are getting uh, negative values then we are going to reject it given that x is increasing at a rate of 3 units per second with this uh, data I can uh, identify that this question belongs to the chain rule because this value 3 is what it's dx over dt that is equals to 3 units per second right find in terms of e so my answer should be in terms of e so we cannot expand or calculate the value of e here the rate of change of y when x is equals to 1 the rate of change of y means that we need to find dy over dt we need to find out all right obviously uh, you need to give it a try first but uh, let me tell you that what you need to do at first you need to find out dy over dx at second point you need to place the value at dy by dx and find x equals to 1 all right at third step you need to apply the chain rule dy over dt is equals to dy over dx times dx over dt so you need to apply these three steps first and then i will tell you its solution and for that part you have a time of that question you have a time of five minutes all right so start all right so now uh, first we need to derivate the function so it will be dy over dx is equals to 1 upon 2 plus e to the power minus x now we need to find out the derivative of minus x so the derivative of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x and then the differentiation of power that is minus 1 so in short what i'm getting is minus e to the power x minus x divided by 2 plus e to the power minus x that is my dy over dx that is your first step after that we need to find dy by dx at, e is at x equals to minus 1. So at x is equals to 1 here, it is minus e minus x is 1 divided by 2 plus e to the power minus 1. Alright. To make it uh, more simpler, what I can do, I can solve the denominator separately. So the denominator we have, it's uh, 2 plus e to the power minus 1 that is equals to 2 plus 1 upon e if you take LCM here that is e and the left over is 2 e plus 1 right so instead of 2 plus e to the power minus 1 in the denominator I can say that this is equals to 2 e plus 1 divided by e and I have shown the working here so this value I have placed in, um, instead of denominator in the numerator we have e to the power minus 1 so e to the power minus 1 is what it's 1 upon e so instead of e to the power minus 1 i'm placing 1 upon e here the benefit is that my question is more simplified now and the leftover part i have it's 1 upon 2 e plus 1 that is a value of dy by dx at x equals to 1 all right so once you had find out the value of dy by dx now we need to apply the chain rule here so dy over dt is equals to dy over dx times 
dx over dt all right now dy over dx is what we had find out it's 1 divided by 2e plus 1 times dx over dt is what it's given it's 3 so when you multiply you will get 3 divided by 2e plus 1 all right uh, that is your answer but i had forgot this sign here so we have minus sign here and the answer as well so the final answer of dy by dt is equals to negative minus 3 divided by 2e plus 1 and that is your final answer all right so i think that it is quite enough for today class inshallah in next class we are